The Day of the Dead stuff, right? Mexican craft beer. So we got their half and their porter. So first of all, we should probably do the half because it's lighter. Then we'll do the uh, pay the ferryman later. This is at five percent, and uh, this half is five point five percent. So uh, immortal beloved. So, uh, some uh, neat artwork on the cases and stuff. So this is a build your own six pack. So I just got these two singles. All right, a bit of carbonation. I'm smelling it already. All right, I haven't had a heft for a long time. There you go. Look at that. Nice uh, kind of light orange thing going on here. And uh, yes, there is yeast in the bottom of this uh, 350 mil. Cool. Mmm, that's smelling uh, like light citrus notes and stuff. Oh. Hey, that's pretty good. That's pretty that's pretty authentic. This is from uh Tecat BC Mexico, imported by Worldwide Beverage Imports from Los Angeles. So cool. No, this is this is a uh, bang on. It heads a little bit uh a little bit uh, not performing the way it, it's not as heavy as big as I would expect, but it is it does have the texture and the and the shininess and the the uh, look, you know, the behavior, right on. Ah, yeah, it's um, it's got all the it's got all the flavors. It's just it's it's uh, I'm used to hacker, so uh, it's a little bit uh, different. Hmm. You know, big, big pronounced bitterness in the in the finish with some citrus. Not like real big bitterness, but if you know bitterness and then a citrus note like orange. That's like a mandarin orange kind of thing going on here. The head has completely disappeared, which is kind of uh, I don't know. I expect a little bit more than that, but. Uh, Tasting the wheat in here and all that, right? Oh, yeah, it's, it's 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 pretty simple. It's not um, the malt feels a bit flat. It's uh, it's a little bit bland, maybe. I'd ex I would expect a little something. Like, there is a lot of locked in carbonation, but I normally would expect something a little more explosive, a little more foamy, a little more. A little, a little bit more flavor, uh, but actually, it's it's not bad at all. I have to give it a, a fairly respectable. I am expecting a little more out of the head though, and and a, and a little more pizzazz in the body and the in the flavor profile. Just a slightly, uh, a slightly milder half than maybe a hacker, and, and not quite as rugged, not quite as uh, as old school. So. I was tasting a little bit more neat and tidy, cleaner. A bit of I'm picking up a bit of sweetness there. A little bit of a sugary syrupiness, a little bit. Yeah, it's, it's kind of a flat mouth feel too. Oh no, not bad. Um, 
I'll give it an 8 out of 11. <clears throat> well, let's see how this porter does, because I'm ready to drink that. That went down really smooth. That's a, that's an, that's a really easy drinking beer. It's uh, definitely a barbecue party beer. I've been doing a lot of those lately. Uh, I think this is a very sessionable beer. It, it probably isn't that bad price in the six packs. It's uh, it's a definitely... Uh, you're going to be able to put away more of this than, like, let's say, a, a hacker or whatever. So if you want to... And that's what we got to look at, too, is, like, how much beer do you want to drink that night? On Super Bowl night, you might want to drink a whole bunch of beer. So I would recommend maybe a bunch of these or a bunch of that... Uh, the one I just did, uh, Brooklyn brand, uh, their Oktoberfest. That'd be another great uh, session beer for something like that. Uh, you know, Stanley Cup, whatever. So, yeah, keep in mind that this is a, a very drinkable, sessionable beer. So, Beer Zerker, let's do the porter next. Yow!